Hi again, guys. How are you today? You good? I hope you're good. Okay. So today I want to talk to you about birds. Birds. Yeah, I love birds. I used to have a parakeet. He ate so much that I named him Vulture. Um, let's see. I love to go to the zoo and see all the birds in the uh, the in their little crates and cages. I love I love storks. And I love doves. Actually, I was just looking at my patio before I started uh, teaching you guys today, and there's a little hummingbird, and it's so beautiful, and it's eating out of the feeder. It's so wonderful. I can make a few bird sounds. Not bad. Uh, I can make a dove. I can actually make a dog sound, too. I don't know how appropriate that is for this teaching, but I'm going to do it anyway. Pretty good, huh? Anyway, so my point is here that I love animals, but I really, really love birds. So let's talk about this. John 1, which happens to be the most Jewish of all the Gospels, in this John is kind of explaining how Jesus is the Messiah. And so he says, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, a bird, and it remained on him. I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. My favorite, one of my favorite things to watch on my patio are these doves because they are ground feeders. And so they kind of scrounge around from whatever's been dropped out of my little bird feeder. If you research doves, you'll find that there's a lot of traditions wrapped around the idea of a dove. Uh, for example, the ancients believed, and not just ancients, but even today, uh, they believe that if you ha saw a dove on your wedding day, it was a really good sign. So I've noticed that sometimes people, just to make sure, they'll rent some doves to be released. It's, that's okay. I think that's nice. Um, and so when we, when we as Christians think of dove, we immediately plaster the idea that it's the Holy Spirit. And that's okay too. But when we read that scripture right there, you have to understand that this scripture that John said was before the the giving, if you will, of the Holy Spirit. So we have to read it through the eyes of Jesus and that culture. It says, I saw it coming from heaven like a dove descending. So what's the reference for the people of Jesus' culture? It, had, it, wasn't, the, it wasn't the reference of the Holy Spirit. It was something else. What was it? Well, it comes from the story of Noah. They were thinking about the story of Noah. So... When the ark, you know, the ark lands on Ararat, okay, and Noah is trying to figure out when it's okay to, you know, leave. So he, he dispatches this dove to go out and see how, what things are going on out there. He's, he actually does it three times. The first time the dove goes, it returns with nothing in its mouth. It just comes back. The second time, the dove comes back and brings an olive branch. And so a lot of people then, even Israel sometimes says, well, that's an example of peace. That's so true. But the third time, Noah sends the bird out and the bird never returns. What Noah gleaned from that was that the earth was becoming safe again and that you could rest in it and that there was hope for the future. So let's look at those three words. It was safe again. The earth was safe. It was a place you could rest. And it was a sign of hope. So this bird, I'll try to draw a bird. Let's see a dove. Hmm. Let's see. Here's a dove, I think. Oh, that's kind of more of a chicken. Well, anyhow. Um, when they saw this little guy coming down with his, I'll put a little wing out here. And another wing. That's terrible. Anyway, my art is not the thing. Okay, anyway, so here we have... <laughs> Listen, life is kind of fun. Uh, here we have this dove, and when they saw that, what did they think? They thought, ooh, safety. This is what Noah thought. Rest. It was a place that we could finally rest after the tumultuous time we'd been through, and there was hope for the future. Wow. So when John declared this in front of all the Jews, they didn't think of the Holy Spirit. They didn't think of a good wedding day. They thought of how this represented safety, rest, and hope resting upon this man God called Jesus. And so they knew, they knew this whole story. So the dove finally came to rest on dry ground and it was safe 
and it meant peace in the earth. And they also knew that it had to do with there was a future and a hope. One of my very favorite scriptures, and I'm sure you know it too, is Jeremiah 29, 11. I think if the dove could have spoken, he might have quoted this verse. It says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for good, not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. So the next time you see a little dove, remember that it represents to Jesus your safety, your rest, and your hope for the future. I hope you're liking these little things that we're learning. So please give us a like and a subscribe, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.